Hi guys, Mr. Newmobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Samsung is banking on its flagship foldable phone series, and it's easy to understand why. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 impressed with its debut this fall, especially given the rocky launch of its predecessor. And with rumors heating up about the Galaxy Z Fold 3, Samsung's upcoming foldable could stake out an even bigger role in the company's phone lineup. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 will take center stage by the middle of 2021, as the phone maker discontinues its long-running Galaxy Note product line. Dropping the Galaxy Note would be a big move for Samsung, as the phablet line has been a central focus at Samsung for a little less than a decade. Samsung hasn't commented on the growing number of rumors about the Note's fate, which started in earnest more than a week ago, when noted leaker Ice Universe tweeted that there was no indication Samsung was working on a new version of the Note. The Galaxy Note 20 series experienced sluggish sales, not long after launching. According to analytics firm Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra ended up placing only 4th and 8th in the top 10 smartphone sales just in the first week of September alone behind the iPhone 11 line. With opening numbers like these, it seems obvious that Samsung would be wise to rethink its phone lineup. Samsung was able to find an in-screen digitizer that lets the S Pen work with the Galaxy Z Fold 2's foldable screen that has a much thinner layer of glass than traditional smartphones. Without making changes to the S Pen, the stylus would scratch up the Fold's display Other rumors suggest that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 will feature under-screen camera technology, a first for Samsung, that will get rid of visible cutouts for cameras in the phone's screen. The Galaxy Z Fold 3 could debut as soon as June, which would be earlier than the usual August-September rollout for the Galaxy Note. But we could get a sign that the Note's days are numbered before then with the early 2021 release of the Galaxy S21. If that new phone lineup adopts more Galaxy Note features, like stylus support, the Galaxy Note's days Galaxy Z Fold 3 could well be replacing the Note series which is what many thought would be happening many leaks are reporting that the hearing no news or two for the Note range which is making people think it's just not happening. We had a tweet from Ice Universe stating there's still no info on the Note 21 development. So let's not confirmed it. Certainly, fueling rumors that it could be the case now that the S range is supposedly supporting the Aspen we now have news that the default 3 is also going to come with the next pen it does somewhat make the note redundant this news is certainly making the Z Fold 3 S pen reports looking more and more likely that we have plenty more evidence that the Aspen is coming to the Galaxy Z Fold 3 as another patent was discovered by Let's Go Digital and it was filed with the World Intellectual Property Office and this shows an affordable smartphone with an S pen we can see by the patterning device looks very simple similar to the Galaxy Forward 2 it's likely the 43 this corroborates previous reports we had about Samsung increasing the thickness of the ultra-thin glass, and again this is to accommodate for the Aspen Let's Go Digital also provided a render of the Galaxy Default 3 with the Aspen according to the patent that they found for. This is just a patent for Samsung for many different patents for many different ideas, and it doesn't mean that it's definitely going to happen. We have however also had this confirmed by Ice Universe who says that the Fold 3 will come with an S Pen next up with news the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is can be the first feature in the display Sophie camera now. Many were expecting to see this on the S range. But apparently the technology it just was not ready in time, and being that the Galaxy Default 3 is can be the most premium from the manufacturer this year then it does make sense. According to Eastern Time News, that Samsung is planning to include the in-display camera on the Z Fold 3, and it's expected to arrive in Q3 of 2021. We also have a tweet from Ice Universe who state the Galaxy Default 3 is can bring a lot of innovations including cup, which is the camera the panel, so this is the in-display camera and S Pen, and as he said S Pen, and not just S Pen support, we expect this to come with an S Pen, and not just have it supported and finally, he mentioned the second generation UTD which is the ultra-thin glass, of course, this is likely, if S Pen is damaged the display. So all in all it's looking like great news for the Galaxy Default 3 a phone device with an in-display camera and S Pen support we look at improvements in the Fall 2 of the original for we can see that this product is quickly evolving and improving it to be an incredible device. If anyone has been holding out for an in-display Sophie camera or phone device with an S Pen that hopefully the Z Fold 3 will be making all of that happen. The launch is expected to be also September more unsure about many things we do have an idea of some of the specs so can run through the now and we'll get right into it in the display is likely to remain a similar size. Considering we already got them down bezels we can expect a 7.6 inch dynamic Pamela display with a resolution of 1768 by 2208. This will have a 120 hertz refresh rate. 
the front screen is likely to remain the same as well. Super. Lead with a resolution of 2260 by 816. The biggest changes, of course, can be the screen protector with 16UM ultra thin glass, not only help to the durability, but should also provide a nice a touch experience for the user when it comes to the Sophie camera. With no information yet, many reports and rumors hinting at the first in display Sophie camera. No idea what sensor or lens Samsung using for this. On the rare, it's likely to be a triple or court camera setup. Now, Samsung tend to keep things similar across the range of sword. Expect the new camera module that was seen in the S range to be present, and it's likely that they'll be using the similar 12 megapixel sensors instead of going with the 108 megapixel HN2. When it comes to RAM and storage, Samsung tend to push things hard with the fold models. So I would estimate the Galaxy Z Fold 3 to have 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM. This will be coupled with 128, 256, or 512 storage is most likely can be powered by the Snapdragon 875 Plus in the X, and also prevent whatever they decide to name it, and there are rumors of a 5000 million power battery, but personally, I, I would estimate minor increases or maybe something like 4600 million powers will of course ship with One UI 3 based on Android 11, and being so early on color variants just cannot be confirmed it will probably have as much water protection as they can. We are unlikely to see any official IP ratings to twist difficult to waterproof design. We're expecting on August launching of things carry on as normal when it comes. The pricing we of course notes can be a lot, so we can expect between $2,000 and $2,100. If you see the usual price increment no of course, a lot of this is just sensible estimates on top. That is please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.